On today's show, Ford introduces the all-new Focus. Chevy won't redesign the Bolt EV for another seven years. And a look at the updates Volkswagen made to the all-new Jetta. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the automotive industry. Well, we've got a lot of updates related to electric cars to report on today. Both BMW and Kia revealed they've developed wireless charging systems. BMW's is available on the 530EI performance and the 530LEI performance that are built and sold in China. The system uses an inductive charging pad that can be installed in a garage or outside in the ground. And the car has a component underneath it to allow wireless charging once it's parked over the pad. Kia is testing a similar system on the Soul EV with the help from Mojo Mobility. The company says it can wirelessly charge an EV with up to 85% efficiency even if there's a misalignment with the transmitter and receiver. Kia says it doesn't currently have plans to offer it in a production vehicle, but it could be available on future electric cars. The Chevrolet Bolt EV will not get redesigned for another seven years. Auto Forecast Solutions reports that's when the new Bolt will go into production in January 2025, and that's when the new Cruise AV, which is the autonomous version of the Bolt, will go into production. Presumably, both cars will be built on GM's new architecture for electric vehicles. That architecture will provide the basis for at least 11 EV models, and GM claims it will cut costs by 30%. Auto Forecast also says that Honda will begin assembling the Insight Hybrid at its plant in Greenberg, Indiana in May of 2019. And Mercedes will begin production of its EQB electric vehicle in France. Interestingly, it will be made in the same plant that makes smart cars. Maybe Mercedes is finally figuring out how to boost the capacity utilization of that plant, which has been severely underutilized since it was built 20 years ago. And sales of smart cars never hit their target. In the U.S., only 320 smart cars have been sold this year, down 70% from last year. Still to come... Chevy refreshes the Camaro, and Ford takes the wraps off the all-new Focus. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Well, wow. It seems like one day we're talking about how Chevy is going to ax some models. Then the next day, it's talking about how it's going to refresh some. Then we're back with another axing, and damned if it doesn't have fresh content again today. The Camaro is getting redone for 2019. The front fascia, grille, headlamps, and hood have all been reworked. The most keen of eye will even notice slight differences between the LSLT, RS, and SS trims. There's also new rear styling for all models with specific diffusers on RS and SS when equipped with dual exhaust. The Performance 1LE package can now be applied to four-cylinder turbo models, and the 2019 Camaro comes with new technology features and enhancements, including Chevrolet's next-generation Infotainment 3 system. And the brand is also showing this teaser of the next-gen Silverado HD. The mean mugged pickup will debut next year as a 2020 model. And you'll probably want to stay tuned, because if this pattern continues, I'm sure we'll be right back with reports of another Chevy model headed for the chopping block. And while we're speaking of new, Ford pulled the wraps off the all-new Global Focus. It's been redesigned from the ground up, and features more flowing body lines, especially over the wheel arches. Kind of reminds us a little bit of the Mazda 3. The wheelbase has also been extended slightly, and while overall dimensions are still the same, Ford was able to increase storage space and legroom. The all-new Focus will also come with Ford Copilot 360, its suite of driver assist features, and an embedded modem for a Wi-Fi hotspot. 
Ford is only announcing powertrain options for Europe and China currently, which includes a range of turbocharged gasoline and diesel engines. A new quick shift 8-speed automatic transmission is also available. The new Focus goes on sale in Europe and China this year, with the American version to follow in the second half of 2019. And wow, do we have another great Autoline After Hours coming up this Thursday. We'll have Paul Smith, the chief engineer on the new Jeep Cherokee in the studio. And man, is that Cherokee red hot. Sales shot up a staggering 57% last month. So join John and Gary to learn how Jeep cracked the code to bring so many buyers into the showrooms. Coming up next, did you know the new Volkswagen Jetta will only be sold in North and South America? Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. We just got a chance to drive the 2019 Volkswagen Jetta, and it's been completely redesigned and now sits on VW's MQB architecture. It was designed specifically for the North and South American markets, the car will not be sold in Europe, and while there will be a Jetta in China, it will not be this model. The new Jetta is powered by a 1.4-liter turbo 4 with 147 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque, and both available transmissions deliver a combined 30 miles to the gallon. You can choose between a 6-speed manual or an 8-speed automatic. Prices range from $19,400 to nearly 28 grand, depending on the trim line. We'll have more details on the car in tomorrow's show. Hey, did you know that FCA now has partnerships with Jaguar Land Rover and Aston Martin? Well, we're actually talking about FCA Bank, the finance arm of Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. Aston Martin just formed a partnership with FCA Bank to provide financing for Aston's 36 dealers in Europe. JLR already has a partnership with FCA Bank. These deals give the dealers for both luxury automakers access to financing for improving their stores, as well as providing financing for customers to buy cars. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please join us again here tomorrow.